Welcome back to the channel and today I am looking at your best builds where I've asked members of my discord to send me their best builds in scrap mechanic and we're starting off with this crazy looking carnival contraption behind me. So this is the Danter's Air Zierra Fairground Ride by Derpy Cat Nugget and there is a whole series of operating instructions that I really don't think I'm going to be able to memorize but uh, apparently this is just to get the true experience of the ride uh i'm gonna i'm gonna push buttons and see what happens and hopefully i'll be able to just i'll be able to make my own experience uh pretty decent now the frame rate is pretty bad right now i'm hoping it's gonna get better once things start moving because this is this is just a massive creation like look at this what's in this okay nothing we just got a chest over there all right so i guess the green button is to start turning things on Oh, there we go. The frames are coming back now. Oh, look at that. That was really cool. So we got a sign there now. All right. Uh, hold on. What else? Then the yellow switch. Okay. Now we press the yellow. Oh, yeah. There we go. Lights are coming on. Whoa. Oh, this is good. This is really satisfying. Oh, those signs look cool too. All right. Uh, now what? <laughs> All right, depending on if you're riding or not. So I definitely want to be riding. Oh my goodness, look at the spider web of this stuff. So are all of these seats, there must be like a seat that is, uh... oh, here we go. This looks like the driver's seat here. All right, well, I'm gonna push some buttons and see what happens. Here we go. There we are. So I think this just pushes in this direction. So I'll let go of that and then push. Uh oh, I should have paid more attention. Oh, we're spinning now. Oh, we're vibrating. I don't know. I don't like the vibrating. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. What's happening? Uh-oh. I might have broken the creation. This shouldn't be a possible thing that the creation does. All right. I'm just going to have to clear the world and restart. Let's try this again. Uh, let's start with one and two, the first two buttons. All right. Things are starting to turn on. Good. All right, now I'm going to read a little bit more detailed. Okay, so number one is to spin the arm left. Number two is to spin the arm right. That's what I was expecting. Purple is to spin the chairs clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Maybe that was my mistake. Did I press both clockwise and anti-clockwise at the same time? Oh, lower the loading platform. Number five is to lower the loading platform. Okay, let me try this again. First, let's lower the loading platform. That is what must have broken it. I probably did that in like the middle of a swing. That's pretty cool. This still looks like it's gonna be in the way though. All right, so we go to the left. Okay, and then I'm gonna swap them. Then we go in the other direction. I think I gotta gain some momentum here for this to work. Okay, can we get some carnival music going on? All right, a little bit more. Oh, this is really strong. All right, switching back. I'm a little bit afraid to press the spin seat button. Let's get some more momentum first. Oh, we're gonna go all the way around now. Oh, there we go. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm No, I'm gonna press spin the seat now. Okay, I pressed one of the spin the seat buttons. Are we spinning? It's supposed to be clockwise or something. Oh, we're spinning. Now we're definitely spinning. Oh, this is disorienting. It looks like the creation is breaking, but it's just the camera moving. All right, you ready for a uh, first person strict follow cam? Where's the front of the seat? Here we go. So this is what it's like. This is what the ride is like right now. All right, let's uh, switch directions. Uh, I think that I, I should have pressed the button to switch directions. Uh oh, oh, did I break it? Please don't tell me it's broken. I can't see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Are you guys getting dizzy yet? All right, let's uh, stop the spinning. Maybe. Oh. This doesn't look good. Guys, this does not, this does not look good. No, no, this does not look right at all. <laughs> I never attended the proper training seminar on how to operate this ride, so please don't blame me. You know, I'm curious though, what does this look like at night? Ooh, this looks pretty cool too, doesn't it? All right, but I'm, oh no, it's breaking more. It's breaking more. All right, hurry up and clear. Clear before the world crashes. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna have to move on to another creation. All right, up next by Le Person de Banono Split. This is the YXKZL850 fire truck. I'm assuming that is a real fire truck that this is based off of. So let's uh, let's play with the fire truck. Okay, no connections, no connections. Oh, there we go. That has a connection. Got some stabilizers. Oh, we got some lighting too. All right, looks like this thing is full of fuel. What about this side? Oh, here we go, more lighting. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, 
Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, this is like a refill, a water refiller. So if there was like a lake or something, we could probably refill the water by parking next to the lake. That was actually pretty cool. All right. Oh, look at the traffic cones. You can take some traffic cones out as well. I don't know what this button does. All right. Well, let's put this up and get in the driver's seat. Does this door open? I don't actually see a way to get into the driver's seat. Do I just... Oh, no. Oh, do I got to go through the back? Wait, how come this opens? Oh, is that... Oh, that's the switch right there. It's kind of hidden. And you glitch welders and your fancy glitch welded builds. All right, I'm in the driver's seat. I think that's probably going to close the door. Let's drive around. Whoa, look at this fast. Holy cow, this is fast. Man, look at the speed of this thing. This one's a little bit laggy too. Maybe it'll get less laggy if I put the ladder up. Okay, we got the, uh, the lights, the emergency lights, and the emergency alarm. We got our horn. I'm gonna keep pushing buttons and seeing what happens. Okay, I pushed a bunch of other buttons. Let me turn the first few off. Oh, okay. It's probably easier to see what lights are doing when I don't have all of them flashing. So number four is just to turn on those lights. Number five is left blinker. Number six is right blinker. Okay, that makes more sense. And then number eight is just some interior lighting. Yeah, that was kind of hard to see with all this stuff going on. <laughs> all right, I've been called to an emergency. This video is on fire. These creations are on fire. We have to stop, get out into the ladder. Let's see how the ladder controls now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. wait, how do I go up? Oh, I'm, I'm just firing, I'm just firing water everywhere. There must be a way to go up or down, right? Okay, so I can turn this entire turret from this seat, but it doesn't seem like I can control the ladder unless the ladder control is from another seat. Here, we gotta do some, uh, gotta do some investigations. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It was just stuck for some reason because of friction. All right, ladder is up. Oh, and now I can move the ladder. I'm going the wrong way. Got to move this way. Oh, I'm stuck again. All right, come on, ladder. You can do it. This is such a slow process. Imagine, imagine you're just, your life is dependent on this firefighter reaching your window and just all these technical diff difficulties start happening. It's like, hold on. I, oh, I just got to press the button real quick. All right, hold on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And then they just start shooting water in your face. Hey, but at least if you were on fire, hopefully you wouldn't be on fire that much longer. All right, there we go. Crisis averted. <laughs> Victim has drowned. All right, well, this is a fantastic replica. Extremely immersive. I felt very immersed in that ladder experience. Okay, up next by Euron is the Orion Salvager spaceship uh, inspired by the Drake Vulture from Star Citizen, which is a game I have not played, but this looks really cool. All right, so this is actually pretty massive. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, okay. Let's go inside. Close the door. All right, is this actually the way inside? Okay, and we're out of the back. Okay, that's just the cargo bay, apparently. How do I get into the seat? Oh, we got a little bit of ladder here. Fantastic, all right. All right, number one, I believe, is hover mode. Am I hovering? Whoa, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. What? I'm very confused about this. Is this how it's supposed to work? Number, oh, we got lights. Oh, we got landing gear. I don't know why I'm tilted like this. All right, let's turn hover mode off for a second. Just go back down to the ground, straighten out a little bit. There we go. All right, now let's turn the landing gear up. Okay, so now we have pitch and roll. Whoa, that's really responsive for something this big. That is so responsive. Go forward. Go forward. How do I pitch? There we go. Now I can pitch forward. All right. What's it like from the cockpit here? Actually, doesn't look too bad. And we can turn. Turning is... You need to do a lot of fine tuning while you're turning. All right, pitch left. Oh, too much pitch. Oh, I mean roll. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I forgot to go to the training course on how to pilot this thing too. Basically, if something involves an operator's manual, uh, I probably shouldn't be operating it. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just pushing buttons and everything's happening. Oh, apparently we just have a lift-off button as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, am I am I stuck in here? I think I'm actually stuck in here. This isn't looking good. Uh-oh. Wait, did I- Uh-oh. I'm stuck in the cargo bay. I am now cargo. Wait, I have an idea. Aha! We've got explosives. This is my escape. All right. Eh. Here we go. Oh! Okay, that was way more epic than I was expecting. Are you falling out of the sky? Or are you still floating? 
Oh, I'm falling through the ground. Oh, no, it's falling out of the sky. Wow, that was actually pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, up next by McCheesy is the Project Walgar. Apparently, it is their very first walker ever. So I guess this thing walks. It includes a detachable flyer on a crane. You can see that right here. A spud turret on the roof and a cozy steampunk vibe. I am really curious to see how this thing is going to walk. Oh, that is the, that is, these are gonna be the smallest steps. This is just gonna rotate like this. I wanna see this thing walk though. Okay, it's actually, I thought it was gonna be really laggy. It's only kind of laggy. Now, how do I get up? Oh, there it goes. It's walking. It kind of trots a little bit. Wow, this thing's faster than I expected. The suspension does so well that, like, it gives it that little hop rather than just kind of dragging across the ground. Uh, how do I get on it, though? Heh! <laughs> oh, that actually worked. I didn't think I could jump that high. This is so cool! We're trotting! All right, wait, did I just turn on... I just turned on, like, the greenhouse. What is this? Oh, okay. Apparently, this is, like, a little elevator that's cool i can do some maintenance on the satellite oh here's the turret all right this is actually pretty cool i love the fan on the back of the seat this looks so good and look at the cups there's the cup holder as the scope this is really awesome okay this is such a well-designed build it looks the vibe is so good uh that's the detachable flyer let's not detach the flyer yet all right we got oh there's a little elevator too all right and this is oh this is the captain's chair we can drive through there oh I've been ejected. It's been a mutiny. All right, what is down here? This leads me out back. And then what does this do? Oh, this is also, this is the, oh yeah, I pressed that. That was the first button I pressed. Situational awareness scrap man is not activated right now. Okay, let's get in the detachable flyer. All right, and oh, this is a nice looking flyer too. Very simple controls. Push one to go up, press W to go forward, and then steer. Obviously has suspension stabilization. And then look, there is our walking fortress. That thing looks so good. Does it turn? I didn't actually think to ask that question or try it out. Here, let me actually see if I can turn this thing. There's a possibility that this thing turns. See, I can't, I have to catch it on its like down swing. There we go. Oh, what's this? Whoa, what is this? Oh, we got some stabilization in here too. This is cool. Uh oh, I trapped myself. Here, please let me out. No, oh no, please let me out. Thank you, thank you. I thought the chest was gonna open from the top, but that is not what I was expecting. Okay, I need to get to the, I need to get to the driver's seat like right now. We're a driver's seat, here we go. Call elevator down, bring elevator up, driver's seat. All right, turn to the left. I don't think it turns. No, it doesn't appear to have any steering. Oh, well, walking straight. I mean, it's good enough, right? <laughs> cool, it's still cool. Oh, I love the spinning wheels on this tank. That looks really good too. There's a lot of cool design elements in this. All right, well, time to move on to the next creation before it hits the tracks. And it's gone. If only it could turn left. Speaking of tracks, uh, we have the QR National 2800 class diesel locomotive 7U, which I'm assuming is also based on a real creation. This is by Joe Train Gamer, the person who builds the most realistic and crazy looking trains. Now, apparently for this one, I need to go on to Physics 1, uh, which will destroy most creations, but somehow this train survives Physics 1 and actually requires Physics 1. Otherwise, the game will just lag out. So I actually have tracks in my world this time. Uh, some of them aren't all aligned, unfortunately, but I, I, I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue. All right, so the door is open. I think I actually need to get on my lift for this. All right, so look at that. The, the, the you are national. All right, well, this door is open. Let's go through here. Let's explore this train a little bit. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh. I see. Wait, what's in the middle here? Is there no access to the middle of this train? Okay, we open the- oh, no connections to that- what? What is in here? What's- what's in this section? I'm tempted- wait, hold- oh! Wait, yeah, there doesn't actually- there's a lot of stuff going on here, mostly lights, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of connections going to the middle. After I drive this train around a little bit, I'm gonna try to remember to open that up just because I want to take a look in there. Okay, so here is one of the driver's seats. Oh, look at this cockpit. This is so cool! All right, number one. Okay, the engine is on. Number two, we are driving forward. Oh, you can see the hook in the front has moved off to the side. Oh, we have just increased uh, increased our speed. Oh, number four, I believe, is the reverse. Oh, we changed directions with number four. That's pretty cool. Number five is lights. Number six is a great horn sound. And then number seven is our windshield wipers, of course. All right, let's see how this thing takes a turn. I think I'm gonna start taking a turn in this episode right now. Okay, there we go. You can see the wheel segments uh, turning. All right, this thing works great. I cannot believe this is like, this is this stable on physics, physics quality one. Okay, but I wanted to see what is behind this wall. Uh, oh, 
These are all individual. Oh, look at that. There is just a big space. Hold on. I want to go in here. Wow. And it goes down here too. Everything's so well organized and compact in here. There's all of the uh, the train sounds just glitch welded into each other. It looks like an abomination. All right, let's get out of here. You know, I'm kind of curious. I'm on physics one, but this could break the game anyway. I just want to see what happens when I blow up this train. Wow, the game handled that no problem. Yeah, physics quality one, easy. All right, up next, Immortal Joe's Giga Horse by Kivion. Wasn't it Immortan, not Immortal? Oh, look at how the engine settles in. Oh, that's really cool. This, oh, and the blades with the new, the new blade parts since the survival update came out. <laughs> new, as if survival didn't come out like last year. This is such a cool looking engine. Look at that. A lot of, lot of attention to deal. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. That's awesome. This is really, really good. And yeah, if you, if you weren't aware, this is actually a replica based off of uh, that Mad Max movie with all the craziest vehicles you've ever seen. This is so good though. The engine, the way it shakes. I was not expecting that when I hopped in this. Oh, gotta be careful though. All right, well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this thing. But yeah, just it's just a, a car, it drives. Oh, look at the uh, the suspension underneath too. Got the like trophy truck style uh, suspension. That's pretty cool. All right, and if I get out of the seat, the engine calms down and I'm actually stuck. I am stuck in the creation. There we go. All right, up next is Transformer Ratchet No Mods by David Baguetta. Ratchet Transformer Autobot Medical Car. That's actually, is that a, that's not a Transformer I'm personally familiar with. Is that an actual Transformer? I'm assuming so. All right, it's been a while since I've looked at just a straight up Transformer in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, so let's see what this one's transformation is all about. And is it actually functional? This thing looks great as just a vehicle on its own, to be honest. All right, number one is lights, number two is radio, number three is horn, and are you guys ready for the transform? All right, and number four is transform. Oh, this is already awesome. I already love it. Oh my god, what is going on with my seat? No way, man. Oh, it's facing this way. Dang it. <laughs> oh, it still, it's, it still drives? It actually still drives. This is so crazy. I can't believe that. All right, and then number four to transform back. I gotta watch this transformation at least two more times from different angles. This is insanity. What? I like, I got distracted by one particular thing and then realized I was missing 20 other particular things. All right, let's just do this transformation a couple more times. Let's get the side view now. Like watching the hands come out. The things that become the hands are like hiding in the back there. This is crazy. All right, how about like a top down view? This could be kind of cool. Here's the front hood. This is, I, I'm almost like, it's confusing enough just to follow along what's happening. Imagine building it so that everything, like I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit here. I just, I really wanna be able to watch this in detail. Like look at even this subtle little detail. Look at the front wheels. Oh, there's the head up in the front there, but the front wheels moves by a block. Like, is that really that necessary? It probably is. I'm gonna watch the front wheels now. There they go. Actually, I don't know if that was that necessary, but it happens. Why does it happen? I'm not sure. This is craziness. Yeah, this is just absolute craziness. All right, I'm gonna watch the back, what the back wheels are doing now. One more time. That whole back section flips all the way. Oh, that becomes the bottom. That becomes the, the feet. Wow, and the thighs. That's really cool. And then they contract. Yep, that's awesome. Super impressive. I mean, nothing really gets more impressive than a legitimate transformer when both forms make sense. You really can't beat that in this game. All right, and then I have one final creation, which this I think this is the best kind of creation to end an episode on. This is Rocket Storm 250 Explosive Rockets by Smarty. So apparently this thing is going to fly up into the sky and drop 250 rockets. Apparently the machine will actually slowly float back to the ground when it's done. So this seems fun. Okay, it has a giant lever. All right, you guys ready for this? Big finale here. Three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. It's glorious. It is glorious. I'm so excited. Are you all as excited as I am? Any second now. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh! 
I didn't know it was gonna shoot them down. I thought they were gonna go like, I don't know, spread from the air or something. This is so cool. Look at this. I like how some of them are exploding in air. Oh, one almost actually got a direct hit on me. All right, I think it's coming down now. I'm still hearing like some of the uh, rockets around me sometimes. Here it comes. It was a little bit hard of a hard landing, but hey, it did what it said it was gonna do. It came back down, didn't it? That was pretty awesome. All right, well, let me know what your favorite creation in this episode was. And if you are a scrap mechanic builder yourself and you want the opportunity to submit your own creations for videos like these, then make sure you are a member of the gist of the, the Discord. Join the Discord with the link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.